All right, guys, that time of year with snow's fired up. Uh, so today this video is about my new truck. Uh, it's just a walk around, quick little review. I got about 2,000 kilometers on it now. I did get to tow it up uh, fifth wheel with two side-by-sides on it up to uh, Bancroft area, Gilmore, uh, which is a video that I've already have posted. You can check that out. Uh, so let's walk outside here and we'll take a look at the, uh, the truck I bought here. Uh, this is uh, kind of a six month deal. Uh, anybody from uh, Canada doing this right now knows what I'm talking about. It's crazy, but you make money on new vehicles right now. Uh, I got rid of my Dodge. I got 2,000 more than I paid for with taxes. Can't go wrong, I drove it for almost two years. Uh, so this truck here is not exactly what I wanted. I more or less wanted an F-250 again, which I've had back in 09. Well, I had it for seven years, but it was an 09 truck that I bought in, in the 09. Uh, great truck. So I want a, a Super Duty again. Uh, this is what my buddy of mine's a dealer, uh, salesman, and this is his dealer's Chevy Ford. Uh, so he can get me either truck, but the, the Super Duties were, they just have none in stock. But he had this one coming in. So I'll switch around here and show you. So it is a 2500 Duramax, the High Country Edition. Uh, it's, it's a pretty nice truck, don't get me wrong. I'm not a big Chevy fan, but it is a nice truck. It tows really good. Extremely hard on fuel though, towing. I don't know why that is, it's probably just break-in. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything to this truck, obviously. I'm not keeping it. I'm going to have it for about six months, trade it back in. Uh, depending on exchange rate, I'm going to be making uh, a pretty good chunk of change on it. And then it, and then getting into another brand new truck. It, I don't know. It's going to have to come to an end eventually, but until it does, I am taking advantage of it. I'll never go back to a gasser again, guys. Uh, this diesel just tows. I forgot how nice a diesel is just to drive daily and then just the towing is just unbelievable. I had the big fifth wheel on the back. Uh, flatbed, a 25 foot and two side by sides. Truck was full of all kinds of uh, camping gear and everything. And at 125 kilometers an hour at the cruise, I mean, this it's I could have towed four side by sides. I probably would have did the same thing. But uh, it's a really good looking truck. Uh, if I if I was going to keep this, I would probably do a four inch lift uh, with 35s. Uh, I think would suit this truck. It would look good. Plus, you got to keep it user friendly. Like I'm going to be towing stuff, so even to get my Super Duty, I'm going to keep it pretty good. But uh, for not, I wasn't too keen on the front end of these things. Now uh, the rest of the truck's nice. It's got the the running boards fold in and out, and actually those running boards got LED lighting all down the bottom. Uh, this this is one of the trucks that is you can't get another option on it's fully fully decked out it's all the sensors and everything but at first i wasn't sure about the front end but it actually it's uh it grows on you pretty quick it's nice i got the truck pretty clean right now but it has been raining almost every day so i'll show you the inside of it here let me check out the those are nice i'm gonna make sure my super duty has those so chevy uh it's been a while since they updated their interior like I, I honestly think my Dodge 1500 had a nicer interior and it was just a sport model. This is like, this is high country and it's supposed to be the, the top of the line. That's nice, it's got the embroidered seats. Uh, the leather is, is a bit nicer than my Dodge was for sure. Uh, but as for like everything else, it's kinda, you'd expect a little more for this expensive of a truck. Uh, it does got a sunroof, it's got the rear sliding window in it. But yeah, and it's, uh, it doesn't have adjustable pedals, which I thought was kind of strange. But it's got everything else. It's got these buttons here, your the heads-up display, so you look through the windshield and you see you got all your gauges on the wind through the windshield. Uh, I just had the front windows tinted, which was part of the deal. Uh, it's got you know, it's, it's got some nice things on it for sure. But I mean, this truck's not cheap either. So it's got the Bose stereo in it. Uh, I'll show you the back seat too. Well, yeah, it's a nice, uh, you know, nice trucks, comfortable drive, super quiet. I can't believe how quiet this thing is for being a diesel. So yeah, guys, this is it. I'm, I'm going to be in the diesel game from now, from now on. Uh, the next one I get, I am putting the four and a half lift on it. It's going to be a platinum, uh, I think it's called the carbonized gray. 
is what I'm gonna get. The black snipe, this is just this just happened to be the truck he had coming in. My last one was black. I mean, don't get me wrong, these things look amazing black. But uh I it's, it, you can't keep them clean. Like my Dodge was that charcoal color, and it was pretty easy to keep clean. It just for some reason the black it just shows everything. Like I already detailed this truck once, and I mean it doesn't take much. And especially they just tar and chipped my road out front. But uh Nice truck. Like for someone in the market looking, if you're a Chevy fan or a GMC fan, I mean, I still think the GMC's got a nicer front end, the Denali. But this is nice. Uh, like I said, super comfortable to drive. It's got a ton of options inside. I think this has probably got your most options for just stupid little things, uh, like the heads off display, whatever all, I don't know. Uh, this has the lights on top too. Like I said, the truck's got everything. Uh, so one other thing this truck comes with too, I don't know if all Chevys have this or not. Uh, there's no handle anymore, which is interesting, but so you do that. I just got a couple pallets of stack firewood on, but you can't, I don't know if I got those are covering it. But uh, this has the fifth wheel prep package too, so you got your light hookups. Uh, so now everything just clips in, there's a couple little plugs in the floor there. Uh, and then this too, you don't have to lift your tailgate no more, it does it on its own. Which I thought was pretty cool. So that's just one of the the tricked options on uh, an eighty thousand dollar pickup. So basically, guys, that's all this video is. Just just showing you here what I'm driving now. Uh, gives you a quick little review. Uh, it's like I said, not doing nothing to this truck. It'd be going back in spring, and I gotta keep basically keep it for uh, for six months. I'm gonna come inside here. It's a little uh, a little chilly here today, so I'm gonna keep that truck for about six months and they can export it or sell it whatever they're going to do with it uh, probably be exported if it depends on the american dollar so yeah uh that's it guys that's you know decent truck uh, if you're in the market for one and you like the chevy and you'd rather have drive chevy then yeah i would suggest buying it's nice so anyways uh, don't forget to subscribe to all my subscribers thanks for subscribing and uh thanks for watching